Welcome back. It's Tuesday, January 3rd in the NBA. My three favorite picks are on the way. You guys know the drill. Let's recap yesterday. Another winning day, a three and two day overall. Our best bet of the day, James Harden's over in points plus assists, cashes, Anthony Edwards and Luca both get it done. Could have been even more as Zion gets injured in the third quarter, ends with 26 points on the hook. And LaMelo Ball only had 11 PRAs in the first half, ends with 37. Could have been a much better day, but look, we aren't going to complain about profit. That's two straight winning days. Mini five and two run in 2023. And we've been crushing the sports books over the last like 21 days let's continue if you are new my name is austin welcome aboard to the call on our shot community you want to do me a favor don't miss out on any of these videos every single morning go down below hit that subscribe button. we just passed 65,000 subscribers we're trying to hit 100k this year and get that youtube plaque right behind me drop a like too and also i've kind of mentioned this a couple times we have a free chalkboard if you have no idea what chalkboard is it's a free group discussion app very similar to discord and we're almost up to 4,000 members in there available on iphone 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 and android combine them into one but either way we can discuss plays craft parlays and celebrate some winners you can go join click the top link in the description to join our chalkboard the best of the day segment is back and i'm not going to waste any more of your time we're going to this guy probably the guy on the thumbnail De'Aaron fox i like his over 24 and a half points minus 115 on DraftKings. he plays for the sacramento kings as they take on the utah jazz now before i dive into this i'd play fox up to 25 and a half units he's the best for the day segment so we're putting one and a half units on it a little bit more than the other plays but let's talk about some injury news because there are is some injury news here that might help out fox it's not going to hurt him but look malik monk and kevin herter the number three and four scoring options on this king's roster both questionable tonight herder is a game time decision maybe he has probably a more likely chance of missing than monk and if either of these two guys misses fox's line is probably going up which is good for us so the earliest you can get it as 24 and a half and i don't see it going down so at the best we get some early the line movement that's in the positive direction if monk or herders out now let's talk about fox though ideal matchup as they're taking on the jazz a team that allows the most points per game in the paint and the fewest three pointers in the league what's great for that we don't want fox settling for threes Fox is not known as an elite three-pointer, a three-point shooter. We want him attacking the rim, getting to the rim, either getting to the foul line or laying it in. And this is a perfect matchup for him against this team. Also, the over-under is 242 and a half. So expecting a lot of points. Now, these teams actually just played less than a week ago back on December 30th. Fox scored only 24 points and then on the hook under and on 10 of 24 shots now if you told me De'Aaron Fox shoots 24 times tonight we put three units on it now we can't guarantee shot attempts but I anticipate him shooting a lot because over the last nine games averaged 26.2 points per game on 19.4 field goal attempts so he's been aggressive attacking the rim and look he should be in line for well above 18 field goal attempts tonight at the minimum hopefully 20 or more like I said 24 attempts that last game and that was a game in which Kevin Herter was on fire Kevin Herter scored 30 points 12 of 18 shooting so if Herter's out even more points are going to have to go to fox more shot attempts now you look at fox when he shoots he scores i mean that's not a surprise fox scored 25 or more points in 11 of 16 games with 18 or more shot attempts and he scored 25 plus in 8 of 10 games this year with 20 plus shot attempts so if he gets above 20 he's gonna have a very good chance of hitting this over and look at last year fox scored 25 or more points in 25 of 35 with 18 or more 20 of 24 with 20 or more shot attempts so look doesn't it take a rocket scientist to tell you, hey, you need to shoot the ball to score. And I think Fox is going to be shooting a lot. This is a fast-paced game. Like I said, an over under 242 and a half. You look at 17 of the last 25 players with at least 18 field goal attempts against the Jazz, scored 25 or more points. All 25 of them scored at least 20 points. Jazz don't play a lot of defense. The Kings are on the road. They're going to need Fox to step up. His last game prior to that last game against Utah, the game before that against Utah, scored 41 points. With all the scoring going crazy in the NBA, Fox could be the next guy to drop at least over 30 hopefully maybe 40 points tonight all we need is 25 give me his over 24 and a half points if monk or herder sits i like that even more let's move on to two more plays and we're gonna get out of here mr jason tatum we're taking his over 30 and a half points minus one of five on DraftKings. i'm not sure if tatum or fox will get on the thumbnail we'll see exactly how i'm feeling but maybe fox maybe tatum has a little bit more clickbait but let's talk about tatum though as his line was 29 and a half last game he scored 25 points and the book said i like it Let's raise it. And, you know, normally when we see that happen, I normally like to take the over the next game because I'm like, all right, they kind of know something. In that game, Tatum, 7 for 16, and he did not make a single three-pointer. I meant to look at the lines for him to knock down just one three. I imagine it's about minus 3,000 today because he's hitting one three-pointer in two and on and 33 of 35 games. So him to not hit a three and still score 25 points, 
pretty dang impressive. Now on the year, averaging 30.9 points per game in that MVP conversation. He's over this line in 17 to 35 games. So, you know, right around 50%. Now the Celtics are coming off a loss. I anticipate they win this game, although they haven't played as well on the road. But still, if they've lost nine games with Tatum in the previous nine he played, he came at back and scored a lot of points the next game, hitting over in five of those nine games that they lost. And then the next game he played, look, he finished two or less points on two of those occasions. So almost seven of nine, he almost hit this over. And look, 16 field goal attempts last game. That's one of the lowest outputs we've seen out of Tatum this year. I anticipate him shooting at least 20 or more times today, even if it is a blowout. But look at Tatum. He scored 31 or more points in 16 of 23 games this season with at least 20 or more field goal attempts. OKC, zero rim protection. They're down Alexa Poca Poca. They're down, down Jeremy Robinson Earl. Now Darius Baisley's in the starting lineup. Look, this team has no rim protection. If Tatum's not settling for threes, just driving to the rim. He'll either have easy lands or get into the free throw line, potentially, hopefully, for some and ones as well. Tatum's as good as it comes. 30 one points he also tweeted out donovan mitchell 71 piece i have a feeling tatum's gonna go out there and score as many points as he can but all we need is 31 on uh tuesday night we'll take his over he's under in two straight games the last time he went under in two straight he scored 44 the next game go tatum we're, we're counting on you we need 31 or more points now my final play of the day be something we don't do all too often we're taking two guys on the same team and taking their over is it a celtic is it a king it's a king we're taking demontis Sabonis, and i like his over 34 and a half points plus rebounds, minus 104 on Vandal. Now, for these people that don't have points and plus rebounds lines, if you want to go to PRAs, you can. Problem is, I don't really like Sabonis a ton in terms of assists. The, the Jazz do not allow a ton of assists. But I do like his rebounds, but I probably would take points all the way. Take his points at 20 and a half. I'm taking rebounds, points plus rebounds, because there's always a chance Sabonis can go out there and get 20 rebounds, make this a no sweat bet. Now, let's talk about last game versus Utah. Like I said, Great matchup for him. He had 28 points, 11 rebounds, 39 points plus rebounds. And he's playing a lot of minutes. And you, as I talked about earlier, Jazz allowed the most points per game in the paint, but also allowed the most points per game and fourth most rebounds per game to centers this season. They're giving up a lot of those things. And over Sabonis' last eight games, he's been playing a lot of minutes and he's been absolutely dominating. 22.8 points per game, 15.9 rebounds per game for 38.7 points plus rebounds. Now, during that eight-game stretch, he's at 32 34, 35, 36, 39, 41, 41, and 51 points plus rebounds going over in six of eight. Look at the two games he went under. Well, he finished three or less shorter, but one was against Memphis in their last game when Memphis is a great defensive team. Obviously, you don't score a lot of points in the paint against them. The other game came against the Lakers. He shot only eight times, went four for eight, and he only had 13 points. It still finished on the hook. So bonus, the reason I'm on points plus rebounds, capable of getting those 20 plus rebound games. He's capable of going out there and getting a bunch of offensive rebounds in. Look, he's at 20 or more rebounds in three games in this eight game stretch. So if he goes out there and somehow snags, you know, 18 or something crazy rebounding numbers, He's probably going to hit this over pretty easily because he can at least get 18 points as well. And look, last two games versus Utah, 39 recently and 48 points plus rebounds. I think he dominates. And if Herder or Monk misses, he's going to shoot even more. That's the one thing about Sabonis. You don't see him shooting a ton. The last game against the Jazz, only 12 field goal attempts. The great part, he missed zero of them. He went 12 for 12. He does a lot of damage in his paint. In the paint. This is a great matchup for him. I normally don't take two guys on the same team, but given the matchups, given a potential injury notes, I think Sabonis and, and Fox dominate here. We saw last game we took a Barnes over because I thought that they would have to have other guys score. I don't think they need other guys to score in this one. Seems like a big Sabonis and Fox game. And maybe Herder or Monk get their own too if they are active. If they're inactive, these two guys should be dominating the ball all game long. It's time to shout out some COS All-Stars. If we hope to make some money over the last, I don't know, we've been crushing it. But if you're new, you can become a COS All-Star. Go down below, hit that join button. If you're like, what is a COS All-Star? It's their YouTube membership. It only costs $2.99 a month. The biggest perk, you get all of our plays early. So you can get the earliest lines, the best lines because the lines are always moving on us now let's talk about these ones we have a lot of new ones and as always we're butchering some names so if you have a complicated name you should come up you should come on because i'm probably going to mess it up we're going with parkas we got adrian buckets muda muda i don't know ryan we got cray with one e I love it. Danny, Justice. We got Victor, Go Getters TV, Isaiah, Dip Battelle. We got Padre, Richard, M Boy Pone, Jake, Joe, Jake. We got two Jakes, Decorius, Daniel, Roderick, William, Kevin, Eldrinson, Adrian, or not Adrian, Aaron, King Fisher, Alex, Andy, Steve, John, JD. We got Alvaro, Tay, John, Tim, Munir, James, Jimmy, we got Kyle Austin, love the last name. Drew, meet the Mito, Nolene MD, and Austin, love the name. B. Wass, Anthony, 42, Doug, Vinicius, Tyrone, Adam, Chris, Chris, Nicholas, Ryan, George, Gabriel, Kenta, and another Gabriel. 
You guys are awesome. Appreciate you guys so much. I'll shout out to more EO, COS All-Stars tomorrow. If you want to become one, go down below. Hit the join button. Three picks. Let's go for another winning day. Cash another best bet of the day. And let's hopefully bring out the brooms. We've been avoiding the sweep in a couple days. I'm feeling sweet today. Let's get to it. Have a great Tuesday. See you guys back again on Wednesday. Peace.